What's good everyone, welcome back to EMC. I got all my Porsches right behind me. I got my 996 Turbo that I turned into a Turbo RS spec of my own with EMC style and the 997.2 Turbo S that we turned into an RS spec EMC style. And I got the GT2 RS right behind me, the 991.2. However, today we are going to talk about the Cayenne Turbo. We transformed the Cayenne Turbo into a monster, into an Urus beater, into a super King Kong fighter, into one of the best performing SUVs that's also family friendly on the streets. Most importantly, I have made a decision to sell this car. Yes, I know everyone's gonna be like in the comments, Oh my God, he's gonna sell it again. And uh, oh yeah, he's just gonna get another car and blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? That's the whole fucking process of what we do. We make content, we drive our cars, we hook it up. We put a lot of effort into making more content so you guys can be satisfied and happy with what we do. And then eventually we're gonna have to sell it, right? These are project cars. I've had this car for three full years. Very rarely do I have a car this long. Yeah, it's just a decision that I made because I feel like I really want to start to just enjoy my cars and enjoy the drives. The more time I spend in this daily beast, the less time I spend in these cars. And these are the cars I really want to enjoy driving. The Toyota Alphard, the Lexus LM, those are more than enough. It checks every box that I need for the family, for work, for myself. Anyway, I want to sell this car and we're going to present it to y'all, hopefully, you know, some collector or some big car guy, big enthusiast will like it. Guys, just talk to us, uh, message us, and we will do our best to answer all of your questions. If there's any more information that you need to see on video or anything, we have other vlogs. So down below, other links, you guys can check out the Cayenne Turbo project. So let's just get into it. This Cayenne Turbo is a 2019 and it's considered a 2020 car. It's got 30,000 km on it only and it's been serviced religiously at Nehu Porsche. Now, let's just talk about the exterior for a bit. We have an MTR design bumper that's carbon fiber as well as these carbon fiber grills and these are in carbon fiber as well with a carbon fiber lip. Now, this actually makes it look like the 2024 Cayenne. Uh, however, it protrudes out a little more. It's got more stance and it looks more sporty and aggressive. And as you can tell from the side, these fender flares are glued on. They're not bolted on. We put these fender flares on and we did not have to cut any of the fenders at all. And it does pass inspection, do not worry. These are full carbon fiber as well. This was a very difficult option to get from MTR Design. Now this is a beautiful kit, fits perfectly on the car. I've never had any issue with it. We do have carbon fiber side skirts, as well as the carbon fiber rear fender. And if you guys can come around the back, I will show you the rear of the car. Now the rear of the car, this is a tech art rear spoiler, kind of like a trunk spoiler in full carbon fiber. And the rear bumper is all carbon fiber as well by MTR Design. And it's really cool because the valance, the rear valance, uh, I actually wrapped this in green. This was in carbon fiber as well. I left the carbon fiber open here and here. And we have the MTR Design carbon fiber tips. Um, right now, this car is fully wrapped in Inozi Tech PPF wrap. It's not just the color wrap, it's in PPF wrap. So it's a little bit thicker, way more protective, and it's self-healing. Inozitech is bomb. I did this car right, and there's a couple extra places where I wrapped everything in carbon fiber, like this rear wing. It does come up in the sports setting if you wanna put the wing up. And on the exterior, I just have to say, it looks really robust, looks very, very muscular. It makes the car look more manly, because to be honest, there's so many Cayennes out there. They all look the fucking same. And when I got the Cayenne, I told my wife, I was like, you know what, don't worry. It won't be another soccer mom car. It's gonna be a badass car. And we turned it into, I would say, the sickest Cayenne in all of Taiwan. And you know what? I don't think anyone can deny that. I know you all agree with me. So let's take a look at the wheels. 
These new blades are so badass, very futuristic, a lot of details, and it's very razor sharp looking, very edgy, very cool, modern. Uh, the concavity of it, it just concaves in so deep. And obviously because of the fender flares, I made this into a custom offset so it fits just right. Super aggressive stance. Um, as you can tell from the front, you know, when it turns out, uh, it looks so sick. And then when we're driving on the road, mwah, it's just sexy. And I have a lowering module in the car. It's lowered an additional two centimeters. I didn't want it to go too low because I think for an SUV, uh, especially for a daily car, you don't need it to go too low. It still goes with the standard sport and the super sport settings, so it does drop down a little more. But I think the stance is almost perfect. Um, as you can tell right here, even when the wheel is out, I mean, there's only about two and a half fingers right here. So these PCCBs, which are the carbon ceramic brakes, these have massive calipers, one of the biggest I've seen. And these are gigantic ceramic rotors. Not many Cayennes have them on, especially Cayenne turbos, which are super fast. I guess a lot of people just didn't want to order the option, but this one has the PCCBs. Super, super important because this car is very, very fast. Let me show you what's under the hood and uh, we'll start the car up. Tell me that is not the baddest and the sickest sounding Cayenne Turbo ever. Hands down, I know you guys want to give me props. So basically, we have a Super Sprint downpipe linked up with HJS Cats. You got to have HJS Cats. We went with HJS 200 cell. I did not go with 100 cell because, I mean, this isn't like a race car. And we went with Super Sprint mid pipes as well as the rear section and mated with, like I said, carbon fiber tips from MTR Design. This is why this car sounds so good. Now, when I let off the gas before, you could also hear the turbo spool and it kind of It also sounds ridiculously good because we actually have an intake system in there. And we upgraded the ECU with Tech Tech. Uh, this car, I would say, ah oh man, I don't want to give it figures, but I, I want to say it's pushing around 700 horsepower. Let's go check out what's under the hood. All right, under the hood, all carbon fiber. This is made by Arma Speed. It's kind of like a nice engine cover. It dresses up the engine bay very, very nice, very sexy. Filters are through here. I'm not gonna take everything apart. We do have all these on video and you guys can check out the link and watch you know, the previous build. With the ECU and the intake and the full exhaust system, this is brute force, baby. It's brute force. Now this car's full list of options I have, uh, we will show you guys right here. This is the full list of options. If you have any questions, you can ask because I'm sorry I won't be able to get to every single option that was selected. But the interior is a slate gray. Um, everything is leather. Roof lining is all in Alcantara in gray. Gray leather steering wheel. Uh, we have the Bose system, and uh, the Germans call it Bosa. Bosa. Can you say that? Bosa. And we have Bordeaux red seat belt to make it extra classy. This wine color right here. It matches super well. And it also has an off roading, kind of like a compass. And that's kind of cool because not a lot of people choose that. And yes, it does have Apple CarPlay, everything links up. This one has also an off-roading option that I've never used because I actually don't go off-roading anymore, but it does have an off-roading option. There's a cool feature. I know a lot of the newer cars have ambient lighting. Um, all my sports cars do not have ambient lighting, so this was kind of cool for me. So I chose green for this ambient lighting. I just wanted to show you guys. So there's lighting under here by the door, uh, up top, in the rear as well. Uh, but yeah, you can choose different colors. There's like a bunch of functions for the seat. The seat is super comfortable. It's super pleasant to drive with and my back doesn't hurt. So super luxurious and I couldn't have asked for more in any other SUV. But it also has the full panorama sunroof, which makes it very, very nice. Uh, kids love it. And let's just go check out the back seats. Uh, the back seats are surprisingly very, very large and spacious. I am actually 
fully back right now where I drive and I'm almost like 190. And if you look at it, and I still got like almost 10 centimeters right there. Obviously we have the climate function in the rear seats. Uh, these seats do kind of pop up and back and there's still lots of headspace. And for taller guys like me and my cameraman right here, he's 193, still plenty of space, trust us. And does it come with the EMC pillow? Uh, maybe, I don't know, we don't have many of these left. We'll see, see how nice I am. Now we're gonna look at the trunk and the space in the back. Uh, everything's automatic, it can close automatic. You can fit like a couple suitcases in the back. Um, I usually just put, uh, yeah, a lot of baseball bats here. I'm sorry, I mean, just in case shit goes down, you know? The, there's another thing that's pretty cool is this rack. You can actually, you know, put it out like this if you wanted to use it from here. It just goes in. Okay, so if you have stuff and you don't want it to fall out, if you don't need it, you can kind of just put it back. Um, but yeah, we, 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 we have a lot of bats. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is super, super spacious. This right here, stainless steel, I like it. It's, you know, very classy. So I really do think that this car has all the features that any family man, any guy that has sports cars that wants a perfect daily SUV, this is the car. And I understand there's a lot of Cayennes out there, but you know, this one is the most special. And before we end the vlog, uh, yes, we do have Cayenne turbo side sills that light up and the interior is full carbon fiber trim. Looks very, very sexy, very sporty. You know, I, I don't have a preference for the next buyer, but I just want the next buyer to take care of this baby because it is an amazing car. If any of you watching are seriously interested and you want to be the next owner of this beast, you won't regret it. Contact us, we will try our best to answer all of your questions. Now, I'm gonna go for my last drive. I'm gonna enjoy this beast. I will miss her, but I think it's time to move on and maybe I will get another project car. I'm not sure. I am preparing to do an EMC showroom. I'm also preparing to get into EWC as a business venture. So more to come, more projects coming for 2024. Thank you all for the support. And yes, I know Ryan and I have said, yeah, we're about to do something big. We're gonna do something big, but trust us. I think this year we're gonna turn things into something big. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, motherfuckers.